developments this morning for some students at two Glendale schools. They are headed back to class today, but not at their school, at another one. But it's for their own safety. ABC 15's Allison Rodriguez has more from Landmark Elementary. Well, parents and students had to be here at Landmark School about an hour earlier than they're used to, and the students were lined up right here uh, behind this fence, all there by grade, waiting to get on buses that were going to take them from here over to another school. Both Landmark and Challenger schools here in the Glendale School District have been closed for days because of engineers warning about some structural problems. So the district deciding that those schools had to be repaired immediately and students could not be allowed in them. So they've been closed since Monday. Landmark students starting back up again today. Uh, a lot of them coming here again earlier, having to be here since it's going to be a condensed day for them. They were being bused over to Desert Spirit and they're going to do half days. So Landmark for the first half of the day and then Desert spirit for the second half of the day. Now students from Challenger, they're going a full day at the Alhambra Family Resource Center, but that's not going to start until tomorrow. Now I spoke with one mom who says she worries about these changes for the kids. I think it's beneficial for the kids to be there for a full day every day. Half day is really it's really not good for their mind, their education, you know. They're expecting these repairs to take about five weeks and the cost $2.4 million, but the parents say they just hope it gets done quickly and right so the kids can get back to their routine. Reporting